Hi. In this video, I would like to show you Listing Pro dashboard for the business owners. The business owner will be the one who will be submitting listings and publishing it as well as promoting it. Uh, in addition to the administrator or the webmaster. So for the business owner, they will not be able to access WordPress default backend like an administrator can do. But for the business owner, this is what they will get access to, to be able to do all their tasks and get all the visibility into their leads and reviews and run ad campaigns and so on. So let's get started. So on the top, you will see all the important um, information such as all the listings that you have, the pending, published, expired listings, and active campaigns. Active campaigns is uh, the ad campaigns that you are currently running. You will come to that later on. So that's what uh, this top section does. This button will connect the business owner with the site admin. The next thing is there will be notifications based on uh, what stage the business owner is at. So you can close that. Here you can see the most uh, important things here as well. The total views for your listings, total leads that people contacted you using, uh, contacted the business owner using the listing uh, form that we will look at um, in a bit. Uh, let me show you. Uh, on the right hand side is the uh, the most urgent attention needed items. Uh, like for example low ratings or some action, some um, some uh, some of your ad campaign is expiring uh, something that needs attention immediately here you will see recent activity such as new reviews new reactions on your on somebody's comments all on your listings and uh, any leads and so on so this is uh, the dashboard and then we're going to my listing my listing is where you can see all the listings that you have added and you can come here and edit this will open uh, the submission form and you can make any changes as you wish and then you can also see the pending and expired listings here if we don't have any, then we can go to the saved ones. Saved are the listings that you are uh, you have added to kind of the wish list. And we're going to take a look at it later on. Next, we'll look at invoices. Invoices are the purchases um, you have made um, or, as, or um, so basically the ad campaigns if you are running uh, to promote your uh, business listing uh, or the business owner is running uh, the ad listing to promote his uh, listing basically he can go and get the invoices right here they are print ready next here are the packages for your uh, business listing purchase so there are two kind of um, purchases uh, primarily you can do right now is one for your actual business listing when you submit initially you can select what kind of package you want uh, and uh, what you want to display to your end users uh, this will this will uh, based on your requirement you will submit uh, 
uh, you'll select the package the next uh, the next uh, kind of purchase you can do is of, co of course as a business uh, owner is the promote ad campaign uh, start your ad campaign and promote your listing uh, so in both cases you are making this payment to the site admin uh, and this is very straightforward to start campaign you click on start new get started and you can select whichever you want to promote you select uh, which kind of options multiple options or one single options where you want the ad sh to start showing up you select next you select the payment method proceed and then just fill out the information and simple as that without leaving the dashboard you can make the payment now the review section so the review section has reviews that have you have received as a business owner on your listings and um, the reviews that you have submitted on other listings as user booking booking is for um, integrating at the time at, at the moment with uh, reserva and there will also be time toolkit uh, option available here that will show up that you can integrate with time to uh, timekit.io and that is that is actually um, has a free option time uh, timekit.io has a free package whereas reserva is uh, totally premium so we both have both options now food and service menu here food and service menu uh, you can add um, different sorts of menu whether it's a, a restaurant or an auto mechanic shop you can create a uh, a link to the front and that then you can upload an image or PNG of the uh, menu here you can go to my profile uh, and my profile can be basically as a user you can fill out this information and that should be it and then log out so this is the dashboard and before we uh, leave I just want to quickly show you the listings page and what I was talking about when we mentioned about the leads uh, so when when user uh, so when the user lands on the page here there is a contact form and when uh, a potential customer fills this out this forms out and um, submits that's considered as a lead and these are some of the reactions when users do clicking on some of these buttons or submitting a review and so on uh, okay thank you that should be it for now and thank you for watching have a great day